everyone, welcome to another episode of Little Engineers Club. Today we are with some interesting challenge. So we are going to open something which is which is exceptionally amazing. It's called a fitness tracker. So we all know we jog, we walk. I am wearing one. Almost like everyone is wearing a fitness tracker, but we don't know what's inside. So one of one of our friend, he is just letting go for a fitness tracker. So we thought, um, why don't we uh, use that fitness tracker and see what's going on inside. So over the next few minutes, we'll go over. And today we have with us our little engineers, Mia, Ishita and Pragna. And we have resident engineer Ankur Ankaran and Vishal. And we have our director Prashant Ankal. And we were all doing this fabulous opening up the gadget. So should we go to Ankur Uncle and start this thing video? So girls, are we ready to send it to An Ankur Uncle? Yes! Yes! yes. yes. So let's the fun, let, no. let the fun begin. Yes! yes. Mia, Ankur Uncle. Mm -hmm. Mia, what do you have? Um, did you recognize we have this, um, it says Little Engineers Club out today? Yes. Yes. Thank and you. And it's like a placement where you send. Okay, yes. Mia, beautiful well, job. So, this is a fitness tracker. Anybody wants to guess what what's inside? Alright, we'll go one by one. Pragna, you use your hand first. Um, so what is inside this fitness tracker? Um, I think, I think there, there's a batch, of, um, there's a tiny, tiny battery back that's making the electricity go to one place and then go to the other place and, and then again. So there's a battery inside. That's, that's a really good part. Beautiful. Anybody good, good job. Any other part? Yes, beautiful. Yeah, any other part? So there's a battery inside. Yes, maybe. <laughs> Ishita, you want to guess? Like, uh, maybe inside there's like bubbly inside this thing. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. like some, there's like oil which is like making the electricity go into that. Yeah, so there could be a coil, wow. or a wire, something nice. like that. That's good. Mia, do you want to guess what's inside it? Besides the battery and the coil? There is a like magnet and it connects to there and there. Um, and there's a thing, a counter, like something that has that counts. words. Yeah, That's good. That that, those are all good guesses. And so there is a magnet thing on it. Yeah, this this thing doesn't maybe doesn't have a magnet because uh, I I think you're talking about the, some ones where it, they stick to the charger, right? But this doesn't stick to the charger. It has like on one end it has a little thing. My like this dad thing. is wearing the that sticks to we all charger. are wearing the things that, that stick to a charger. I think yeah. that's a good point right now. That's a good point. So I think, you're, you're yes. wearing that and, yes. it, and this does not even stick. All right, Mia, yes. so now because I have to cut it out, everybody will keep their hands away from the table. So guys, we, so don't, have, we don't have a safe way um, to open this, this fitness tracker because it's packed very tightly. So the only way we can do it is cut and put a slit and we'll do a, some surgery at home. Uh, we highly advise you have to let an adult uh, do those things. It could be really, really injurious. Uh, you, you, you can cut yourself if you do it all by yourself. So always do it with an adult. Uh, so that so that you can you can stay safe. Friends and family. Yes. So we, yeah, we so can. See, and Ankur Uncle is a professional, so he knows what he's doing. So that's why um, Ankur Uncle will provide some surgery, and we'll see how that goes. Sorry, Ankur Uncle. Oh, that's okay. So me and so. There, see, you guys don't see any screws here, right? So we, we have to open it up. So Mia, uh, you can touch it now, but you have to move your hands back. See the charger thing. Okay, we can. Uh, I can give you the charger thing. Here you go. Can I try to? It, it has a little charger. Mia. Okay. So so it can charge. Yeah. Go go inside the electricity that can go around. And, and it charge it charges the circuit. Okay, yes. It goes to one place, then another place, then another place. Okay. It'll charge all that. Part. Beautiful point. Yes. Beautiful point. So Mia, can you give it back please? Yeah. Good job. Thank you. So all now right. we'll see. Now you guys move this. your hands back please. You have to be very careful, okay? So please move your hands back. Nobody wants... Uh, I think we can put on the, on the side we can cut, I guess. That's a safe... Uh, at least a safe... Alright. Yeah. You want to... Oh, well, it's, it's fine. You can... Uh, oh, no. For safety of the video, we are putting a slit on the fitness tracker and we're not telecasting live. It's funny though, I don't know, I just want to say it. 
Because we don't know how we can open it. But it is so much fun to see what's going on inside. Isn't that? I'm feeling scared if we can't put it back. It's fine. I think this is... Anyways, we are throwing this away. So, we can technically open it. So, Uncle Uncle has successfully opened the tracker. That Uncle Uncle is genius, right? He knows all these things pretty quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm a teacher that just say... Genie, I'm a genius. Um, uh, this is a genius man. Yes! <laughs> I'm a genius Yes, I think so too. Okay, now please uh, move back again. Or maybe Uncle Uncle is a genius. Uncle Uncle is genius. Maybe his teacher is to say Uncle Uncle is a genius. Yes, and he's the best little engineer's coach ever, right? Yes. No. I am the fifth. <laughs> the fifth it's one, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Uh, what are coaches? Third, second. You, you are third. first. You are second. I don't think first, so. Second, third, fourth, fifth. You're yes. Perfect. Yes, I know. You girls are amazing. You guys can count. <laughs> what did your professor say? And girls, you know. Today, today was a beautiful day, right? It, it was really, 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 really. I see the old. Yes. So now we are seeing the the gross part in the circuit. I'm going to can you put it on the on one, the placement so we can see? One second, one second. We want to see this fun surgery. No, but you can put it on the on the on this guy. It's fine. Don't don't get the battery part. I guess. No, I think we we'll just we we'll just steer it with hand. Hold on, it won't come out. Maybe it's a metal chassis. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be so one of the one of the major precautions we have to take is whenever we cut in these things, the lithium ion battery, we cannot puncture this. These are highly reactive battery and it can blast. So we have to be very, very safe. Yeah, That's why we, we need to have an error. And be very, very careful. And don't puncture these batteries. So you just have to take a slit and just open it by tear it by hand. So you're not tearing the battery because you don't want to tear a battery. And typically they provide a lot of casing around the battery, so you can't tear it easily. But for extra safety, don't put any pointy object, objects um, in and around the lithium-ion batteries. Alright, so we are back here. So we've got we a good enough uh, slit on the... Uh, Can we take the whole thing out? The whole casing out? Alright, here we go. So we can remove the casing. Let's see. This is... Let's see where the oh, how exciting! This is amazing. Uh, now we see this old. Now the circuit is coming out. Now we see the old bad part. So we, we cut it out. It, all it was was a rubber casing, okay? Uh, so bye bye rubber case. <laughs> you want to say bye bye to rubber case? I'm going to say bye bye. Bye bye rubber case. Bye bye. You, you have been great, right? Yeah, can I? Yes, you can touch it. Bye bye rubber case. Yes. Now, now we can we can get back to the fun okay, stuff. Let's, now let's get to let's pay attention here, guys. Uh, pay attention here, okay? So even now, so you can see the little bit the bare bones of the circuit, but there's also this extra protection. They have put this white rubber. It's plastic rubber. It's rubber. It's white rubber casing uh, around the circuit because they don't want to damage the circuit, right? And also, it's a protection for the small delicate parts that are inside the circuit, okay? So I'm going to remove it very very carefully without damaging the lot of So uh, little engineers, we, we are seeing that um, there are some some rubber casings around around the circuit and I think one thing that uh, today we'll learn uh, or we want to learn is how the modularity you know, and we'll talk about the, the modularity of, of the circuits. Uh, this is a perfect example of that, how we can sort of create multiple complex things to do a, do a thing. So it's, I think it, it's going to be a fun, fun project. Yeah. Uh, I think we have to be very, uh, uh, Mia, I think, sit, can you sit properly better? I think it's good. Okay, yes. Mia, uh, Mia, let's pay attention here now, okay? So, what we can see is the, there's a charger here and there's a wire around here. So, this, this part is the battery. Uh, it, it says something about patent pending or something like that. But this is, this is the battery of the circuit, okay? And anybody wants to make a guess what this thing is, the little metal thing is? It looks like a cell, um, but um, it's not a cell. It, um, the battery goes, do the battery goes from here to here, and then go rides all around and around. Wait, but what's that thing, uh, Pragna, what Uncle uh, Uncle is uh, saying? Is it, um, is it a little uh, 
stage where it can So I think we, so uh, I I have a question for all, all of you uh, uh, my little engineers so in a fitness tracker so in a tracker what all it does it counts the steps right we remember that it counts it it, it, and then and then and the other thing is it is talking to our phones right sometimes we see we don't read on this we get something on the phone so it has it has to add something that it uses to talk to a phone it also does buzz buzz it might be right? the vibrator thing vibrator thing ishita is our our the steam is our best see she figured out it's a vibrator i think it's a, it's, a, it's a good job and then um it also has uh, bluetooth oh. that talks to our phone somewhere we'll find somewhere oh, right? oh hey, mia mia do you have a question oh. yes mia what what's your hand about no honey uh, actually uh, we talked about all the parts just now right so we'll talk about all the parts but this thing is a uh, a vibration motor so when the business tracker does the buzz remember well, if you wear it sometimes it does buzz you hear it you feel oh, so it on like your it does it it does oh, the vibration the one yeah 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 Um, what does a vibration do? So vibration tells your hand that something is going on. So if if suppose if I if I want to interrupt you, I just, I just shake your hand and you say Papa, what's happening? Because that's how I I, I tell you. So similarly, when, you, when when vibration sort of uh, does that to a hand, you say hey, what's going on? What see this light 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 this light is on now? It it's something it, it tells you something so is it, going on. It tells something is going on. So that's what so it just. So that you can see it in shape. Yes. All right guys, so I took the rest of the rubber off. So now now let's let's focus on some of the important parts, okay? So there's a there's this button. If you guys uh, if you guys feel this is a little bit button, can you push it? Mia, you want to push it? Can I see? You feel like it push it pushing something? Yeah. Is it that does it feel like a button? Yeah. Gently, gently. Yeah. Uh, right? Can anyone try that? It's a button. You feel yeah. it? Yeah, I feel it. It's sticker. Yeah. Like yeah. So it's a it's a little button. So it, it's this. A switch? Yes, it's, it's a switch. switch. Yes, it's a And nice. it has it has some notification lights here What? that that actually uh, buzz, buzz, they buzz. they light up. So it tells us something, right? So if suppose we want to talk to tracker, we say, Hey tracker, now I'm going to sleep. How can you tell it? So these button, you can send a signal. and then that light will let and say hey i can hear you i think you're going to sleep so that's why we use this um, this button to communicate to the circuits or communicate to the tracker you okay. see all right so now I, i'm going to remove very carefully small little rubber chunks to show you some of the important parts okay so we knew all knew this was a battery right here you guys see it in small three terminals Can you see what that thing says? You see three little dots. Yeah. So I'll show the camera the here. Dots. You see the three dots. Those yeah. are those are the. I actually didn't see the three dots. You see three dots right here. Oh yeah. Those are the dots that connect the battery to the rest of the circuit. This is how the battery is connected to the rest of the circuit. You should never. Right now, this is discharged. But you should never. You have to be very careful. One of them is a red, and the other one is white. You should never. You should be very careful never to touch them because then they can short circuit. All right. What's a short circuit? Short circuit is. That's a good question, Mia. Yeah. That's a very good question. Also, it means like the wire the clock or something. Yeah. No. The short circuit means is what does battery hold? Uh, it holds a lot of charge, right? Short circuit is if rather than going all the way through the circuit, if we try to if we touch the two terminals by mistake together. All the charge from the battery will quickly come in a lot of flow, and then it will create fire, spark or, or, or fire. spark. Yeah. The thing, remember, we always try to relate it to the we fill a bucket full of water, and and electricity does is it takes water small by small, right, in a pipe. But it it will be like if you spill the whole bucket at one time. So yeah. same. So, so imagine you, if you are thirsty, you say, hey, pa, okay, Uncle, can you give me a water? I just I just uh, uh, topple the entire bucket on you. You you get hurt, right? So it's so much it's so much of water that you can't handle because we have a tiny. I even like I can handle a lot of water. Yeah, exactly. I have a lot of water feet up my swimming. Right, right, exactly, exactly. So okay, okay, guys. So let's see what else we can do. So the other part of this. Are you really talking, guys? So Mia, if you pay attention, the other part of this is there's the metal that is going across that's keeping this thing into whole shape. 
it's like a carbon steel frame if you guys see this, this is the circuit that i'm holding up but there's a metal part underneath you see that you want to touch it did they paint that black you want to touch it yeah they touched, they painted it black mm -hmm. and i think one fun thing that you can see with this cable it's a straight it's 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 a flexible cable this see? is a flexible and i just saw like this like you know Wire. Yeah, this is this is called a 2.5 millimeter jack. So it is used for putting uh, transmitting electricity. So I'll try to dismantle, uh, the, put the steel cable around this. We'll, we'll take the circuit out from the cable. Okay, you have to be very careful. Okay, so the, every step of this is you have to do be very careful because now we are we are removing the casing, and uh, it's a uh, it's again again it's, it's going around the battery. So we have to be extra cautious. And if you can't separate from the battery, don't do it. I think it's not worth the risk. And I just wanted to tell you that our director, Prashant Dangal, he is my dad. Yes, the, the, the director, uh, Prashant Dangal, he <laughs> is Ishita's dad. This is Ishita right here. Yes, uh, this, this they is, know. Yes. They know. And, and, yes, and this is Mia, and that, that's Pragna. Just so we do what's again. Yes, Pragna. You have something? You have yeah, so much. Ah, exactly. Hands, 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 hands. You have to be very, very cautious. Mia, uh, we have pointed objects I'm going on in the. Uh, whenever we are working, we have to be really, really cautious. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Say yes, right? You got it? And, so um, about to come with yes, uh, Pragna. Oh, why do we need the button to switch? Can, can your hands go back? Yes, Pragna. Why do we need to have the button to go? Oh, to top the tracker, right? We yeah. can just we can just say something and they can hear. But but then tracker can't hear. Do, do you see any any ears with tracker? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. By the way, it, it can have ears. It, it can have ears. So look, I I disconnected the battery. So these are the three circuits that the battery had. I disconnected. So now we can we can look at this deeply a little bit. Okay. So so let's see what's going on in this part. So we knew there was a push button here. We knew there were a couple of notification lights, LED notification lights here. And then we also have these wires that are bringing the signal Ooh, over. You yeah, see? And the plastic. yeah, and the plastic thing. The plastic thing is trying to save the wires. It, uh, it's trying to make sure that the wires don't get damaged. Okay? So it, it's like a protection thing. So, so like we, if you would pull the thing, you will be damaged. Yeah, exactly. See, I'll remove the plastic covering from here. So if you guys see, there are three wires inside. Do you see that, uh, Ishita? There's more plastic. Yeah. Pranga, do you see it? Ooh, that is black. Mia, do you see three wires? Yeah. Yeah, so there are three black wires that are taking... And, and why, do, why do we use this? Do you have any... Do um, you guys want to guess? Why do we put wires like these? We can very well use three wires. Yes, Pranga. For electricity. Uh, uh, because, because electricity has to um, go no, to... No, that, that's a good point. That's why we use... We need wire. But why do we need wire like this? to work to and then go to the end that's a good point so why do we need this um, these wires like this is if we have a very tight circuit we don't have too much room these these wires take a lot of area right so using this flat flexible wire we just need a metal strip uh, as a wire so we don't use a wire as such and we put a put, we put a coating on that and it can function like a beautiful circuit it, it, it can take as Pragna said it can take currents from one side to the other using these flexible wires. Alright, so now I'm yeah. going to show you another critical part on this. Look, you want to see another sensor? There's a sensor. You see the four dots? Yeah, it's a sensor? Yeah. sensor? Yeah, look at that. You see it? No. That's for the button. Can yeah. I see your eyes? I was about to say that, that there was a touch sensor in the very Four. I don't want the touch sensors. There's five dots. Okay. Um, I think you know what the touch sensor is for. So you can't separate the, the modules from that? I'm trying to. Hold on. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I think five. you know what the touch sensor is for. For, uh, for capturing if you're touching something. Oh. So if, if you touch something and it, it does something, it's a touch sensor. So if but you touch I something... Like, but I've got like a... a so I thought like, uh, when you touch the, the button, it yes. always makes, it kind of makes static electricity to touch it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it makes static electricity. No, no, it's, it's not static electricity. Um, so it can, it can by the way. So it depends on how how uh, that touch sensor works. Now the but black, but the black thing is getting off. 
So the idea is if, if you touch something and, and it does something, so either it lights a light or it and it does something, so it's it's capturing that. The what about the other thing? What? My nail is getting off. Yeah, that's good. One of our little engineers' nail is coming out. That's funny. <laughs> Mia. Mia. Yes. Let's try one more thing. And if you ask how my brother is doing, he's doing great. See, let's listen to that. Uh, so we, uh, so, so we knew yeah. this is our vibration motor, right? So this, this, whenever the touch sensor moves, this, this creates vibration that does buzz, buzz that feels in your hand, and also it, it gets its instructions from somewhere. So underneath this, there's a, there's a chip that I want to show you. Underneath this black thing, there's a chip that gives the signal to the to the uh, to the motor to switch on and off okay and all these there are so many small 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 tiny wires that are actually sending all the signals this is like the brain of the whole thing you know how your brain has all these really complicated circuits that hold holds all the information that's why there are so many wires going to this you guys see that Mia? how many wires are going there a lot of wires right check 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 on the this brown part how many wires are going in there There are a lot of wires, and also here there. Like, yeah, okay. so there's okay. six wires. We took it off. Okay, can you show it to uh, Ishita? Please? So Ishita, look. So that's that's the brain of of the of the Fitbit. So we we have our brain here, here right? Wait. So our brain tells us, hey, move our hands. Ish, yeah. So our brains tell us that we move our hands, we do something, we do but something. why are there four wires? It's how many instructions you want. Like it just, it, it, it needs four wires. It's using four wires. So it's like if you had four wires, it would be eight. All right, guys, okay. Okay. Yeah, bring it back. Show it to, show it to Pari. 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 Four wires in one time. So I think in the meantime, Amparo is opening this. So I want to. So girls, I think one of the fascinating things about this tracker uh, is that did you see? So you see, there's a battery casing, right? There's something like an energy. So battery casing gives us energy. There's a brain, which is that circuit. There's something that shakes. So we as human, we have something similar, right? Our heart gives us energy. Our brain gives us the instructions. Our hands help us shake things, right? So no, it's, 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 so it, it, this is called yeah. modular, so, so girls, so this is called modular circuit. So, so what it, 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 it's, a, it's a bunch of modules working together to do something. To so, make so I'll give you an example. So if suppose I say Pragna get some water, right? So now how this works? Papa is, so is saying from, 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 he's using his voice, Pragna's ears hear that voice and send it to the brain. Brain tells it, hey. What is water? Pregnant says, I know what water is. And she remembers where the water is kept. She'll move and then she'll use her eyes to locate where the water source is and legs to go there. And So every module, like hand, is used to capture things. Leg is used to move you. Brain is used to tell you things. And eyes used to look. So all these things are modular mod modules that work together to do the something. Mia, yeah, so, so now let's pay, pay attention on the modules that Uncle Vishal was saying. So remember we said this is the brain of the circuit and usually a brain is supposed to have like a circuit that it's the brain, right Pragna? You have a question? Yeah, what does module mean? I, I'm showing you one module. So what Uncle Vishal is saying, all the things work together, everything is a module. So this is a vibration motor, this is the brain of the circuit, this is another integrated circuit. All these things are different modules but they all have their job. Think of them, they are body parts, right? Your eyes have the job of seeing. Oh, you mean they, yeah. they, they all work together um, yeah. to have a job. They all have one job and then they all work together. Yeah. Oh, yes. Nice. Yes. 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 All your body parts have a, a color, have, have a job and together that makes a person? Yes. What is this mean? Skin. And our it's body skin. has yes. modules. Right. Yes. They, they all what work it together. Like I see here. Engine is let's pay attention now. It's very important. Mia, pass it along, please. Pass it along. It is a customer service. 
no, it, it's it's a brain of the circuit. Oh, no, you guys have to pay. You see the little square? Yeah. That's the central. That usually is the central processing unit of the of the. What's so it's like the brain. This is the this is the vibration motor. Vibration motor. This is the vibration motor. So this is the central processing it, unit. It says. Yeah. So usually people call this CPU or central processing unit. Central processing unit is like the brain of the circuit. It tells everybody to do the, something or the other. Okay, that's why there were so many wires going to it, right? It tells all everything to do something. It maybe if these two wires. See, it's telling these two wires. It's saying vibrate. The other two wires. It's saying please turn on a light. The other two wires. It's saying do buzz buzz buzz. The other two wires. It's saying oh, are you counting the steps? Um, so it has different functions. Now so let's let's talk steps. about counting the steps. So so for the camera, this is the central processing unit. Okay. Now let's talk about this part. This is also an interesting part. It has a if you guys see, there's a small integrated circuit also here. I Remember see. we we see the integrated circuits in our in our other circuits also. Mia, please pass it along after you see it. You guys look sleepy today. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Who is it? Yes. Right. Who is it? Can you pack it, pass it along, please? But I just want to see. It's it's near near, near it's the, the white. It's the white casing. It's next to the. It's the one with the white this? casing. Yeah. yeah Can I see? Go. No, you saw it before. I I was looking at something. Oh, but you can see it again. I think so. But no leaning on the table, guys. Uh, it's a workbench, right? So uh, I'm going to explain with 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 a pointy point object. Oh, he's cutting that thing. I know because we want to see what's going on there. Is that the kind of thing with the black? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hand, hand. I think no on the table. On the table. Please. Thank you. No, nothing on the table, beta. I think it's whenever someone is working. That's why it's workbench. Only one person at a time, and the other person should keep their hands, their hair, their their head away from the table, right? So we so we not hurt ourselves. Okay. Her dad. Okay, so it's, I think it's done. Uh, so let's oh, we, yes, we can see that. Her dad, Mia, uh, Mia, um, the resistant, the resistant engineer. She is Mia's dad. It's not resistance engineer. It's re it's resident engineer. Resident. So our club has a coach. So he's our coach. So our little engineers are getting things. So they are. So yes. Oh, yeah. Alright guys, we got more parts here. So we got, we, you know how you guys are used to using, looking at circuits? This is also a circuit, it's a mini circuit, I'll pass it along. We'll talk about the parts in the circuit, but you guys can see the circuit. There's a lot of mess. Yeah. So there are a lot of circuits, there are a lot of modules. There's the battery is a module, then there is a brain, that's a module. This guy is, is maybe a module or two. And then um, there's model, module, module. They all work together to do something. So to track our fitness, to make sure we are we are healthy. Like like our bodies. It it is all the parts that you guys have seen. There's a very small resistor somewhere. There's a very small diode somewhere. But they are all very small. Very tiny. If they're you see your resistor and a diode I in the past. Right? Yes, yeah, I there you go. Can I see it now? Yes, I can know it's it should touch that. But she can see. She can see. Yes. Yes. Silvery thing, greeny silver. That's a resistor. Okay. Oh, it's a, it's That's key. interesting. Okay, okay. Alright. I'll I'll show you guys something, a bigger hey, diagram of this. It's it's green. The resistors. Okay. Okay. Wait. It's green, silver, it's like that's the and, 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 and I think Uncle Uncle brought up an interesting point. So if the circuit is very tiny, oh, yeah, if the circuit is very tiny and you want to see that, how we can we saw this is too so so how we can how we can make the circuit go big? Yes, yes, it's that. By a microscope. That's yeah, a very good, that's, that's very good. good. That's a very good point. Or we can take a picture and zoom the picture up. Yeah. So I'll show you guys a picture. So this Uncle Vishal showed. Uh, kudos to the creative. We will put it in the reference. But this is a picture of the 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 circuit we just opened, and it has the various parts in it. So let me let me show you guys, and then I'll show the camera as well. So look, there's a there's a button. That's where we push the button, and there are flashlights. We show the flashlights, right? Yeah. And then there's a this steel ring. We know the steel ring was there, right? This one, this ring right here, right? And then it had a memory here. We we saw that, 
Then it has a charger, a microprocessor that we saw. It also had a vibration motor. And then it says it has a 3D accelerometer. I'll show you the 3D accelerometer, right? And so this is the circuit, okay? So I'll show it to the camera as well. Yeah, it's a diagram of what we just saw. And we'll put, we'll put uh, this interesting video that we found, a, a shout out to them. Uh, it's in the description uh, of this video when, when it goes live. So fun stuff there. All right, so Pragna, you, you want to see this as well, right? So now let's let's watch these parts when, uh, when we just opened it, okay? So this was our button, right? We saw the button. There were lights here. Those are your lights, right? So we saw that. And then it came around like this, this, this. And this is the memory. The, remember, it was talking about the memory. This is where it stores the things from the circuit. Because we, we, it's, it's the brain? It's yeah. not the brain. No, it's, it's, it's where you store things. But yes, it's part of the brain, you can say. But it's, not, it's not helping you process something. Think so of it as your tummy. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. That's a, that's a very good note. It stores yeah. things, right? It stores things. Yeah, it's it's food. Food. yeah, yeah there you go. It, it's like your tummy, right? So it, it brings the air, and then we we had these things. So you we talked about the we talked about the vibration motor. We talked about the brain, but we did talk about this 3D accelerometer. Anybody wants to guess what 3D accelerometer does? So it, what it does, it, it's called accelerometer. So it, what it does is acceleration is moving, okay? So what it does is it measures movement. So when you're, when you're going exercising like this, right? So something is telling this circuit that you are moving. This right. is the part that tell, tells you. The accelerometer says, okay, I see movement is happening like this. It has a little crystal inside that moves and tells the circuit that whoever's wearing the, uh, the circuit. Hey, yeah, it counts your steps. Either it can count your steps or it can tell you whether you're jumping or you're falling or those kind of things. So it, it tells you, it tells the circuit all those things. Okay? So what is it called? Accelerometer. Accelerometer. Yeah. Oh, now now I, have a, I have a question for you girls. What does 3D mean here? Uncle Uncle says 3D accelerometer. So what does the 3D mean here? Anybody wants to guess what 3D is? Yes, yes, we can start right now. Um, the 3D accelerometer means that, um, that something has a 3D and it's running and then it's going to each part and saying that, hey, I see something running, hey, I see some, something moving. That's a good point, that's a, that's, that's a fair amount of point. Ishita, do you know? Wait, what was the question? It's, it's, it says 3D accelerometer. So what is 3D in this? It's three dimensions. But what is 3D means? So 3D is just the three dimensional. That's very good. That's it's yes. three dimensional. You know what three dimensional means? Uh, it means... Uh, Let's explain, right? So this is... This, uh, 3D oh, means it has three dimensions. So let, let's say if I, if I draw a line this and this. How many lines is this? This is one line, and what is this line? Two lines, right? Yeah, but I forget it. Okay. So say I draw a square. Mm -hmm. That is just one face. But yes. when you add both faces to it, I mean, because of 3D shape. Yeah, so th that's perfect. So Ishita, look, this was two lines, one and two line, right? If I draw, this is my third line. This now is 3D, right? So earlier things were just flat. Everything 2D is just flat, right? But if we have three. 3D, this is my third line, then the things have, like this is a 3D object, right? Because it's, it, it has, it, it not only it has flat, but it also has this, this thickness, right? Yeah, but it's not spherical. Yes. And, so then, and, why, do, and, and why do, why do we, we, we need 3D? Do you know, do you guys know? Yes. So, um, say I was trying to climb a flat mountain, it would be easy because I couldn't really, I have, I would have to bounce you. Right. And yeah, the, but when you have feet, it's more easier because you, 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 both of your feet can like just like walk, 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 walk. No, I think, and the other thing is, if I say go to your kitchen, right? So I'm telling you, it's just like the kitchen is three steps down the line and two steps on the right. But just sitting now, you don't see a kitchen here. Where's the kitchen? The kitchen is up, right? So that's why we need the third dimension. We also need the height. So we say. Yeah. Ishida, take three and steps left on the right on the first floor or second floor. And we also need the depth. Right. Yeah, that's, Beautiful. that is the third dimension. Yes, so that's why we need three dimensions because we, we want to understand exactly depth. where you are. 
Yeah, if we just told you length and breadth, you won't be able to get there. We have to tell the height also, right? So that way, that's why this sensor actually measures all three. It measures the length, the, breadth, uh, the width, and the height, right? So it, it figures out in 3D where we are moving. So now uh, what I'll do is uh, one last time, I'll cover the parts that we saw when we opened it. And then I'll ask you guys around and see what you guys saw inside. Okay. All right. Is that good? Cool. All right. So I'll, I'll start with this, the ring. This is the charging circuit. So this, this brings the charge in from here. After it brings the charge in, it sends it to the battery charger, which is the first part. You see the wire sticking out of the battery charger. Ishita, you see it? Mia, you see it? This one is the battery charger. Then the next is the, this is the processor. This, this, this one that comes I in. have a question. Oh yeah. What is that metal thingy coming out is, what is that? That must be a lead that goes to the battery that tells. It must be, so it's an antenna. Yeah. It's, it's a, so I think one thing that, um, so I think that's the maybe, is, is it an NRF chip? No, no, it's a battery charger. Uncle, uncle. This is a battery charger. So I there was a circuit like linked to the battery that okay. tells it uh, that the battery is full. So it cuts the circuit out. It's like a metal strip. Can I see that? Yeah. It looks like an antenna. That, so that first part is an antenna. antenna. <laughs> If there was a if if it was empty no, connection, then it would be a battery, right? Uh, uh, reindeer yes, it's an NRF. So it's a new piece. So um, so this is so guys, guys, see. So remember, remember, girls. So remember, we talked about that um, someone. So we need we need the, this thing to talk to our phones, mm -hmm. right? So how can we talk to our phone? Anyone wants to guess? Do you want to do you want to guess? So have you heard of Bluetooth? Oh yeah, I have. Right? So what is Bluetooth? Um, we, um, then we put something in our ear and then we can Yes, talk. it's beautiful. So basically it, it talks to some remote thing to one this. Time, one time you were having a Bluetooth thing in your ear yes. and you were talking to Dixon yes. and somewhere else. Yes, exactly. So now, and, and whenever we have this distant talking things, we need antenna. Do you know the antenna? Yeah, antenna like, yes, like yes. it pops yes. out. So and the, po the point of the antenna is it helps sort of extend and, and transmit uh, yeah. data from. So this particular mod, I think there are two modules. Uh, One of them is a Bluetooth oh, so model. Um, yeah. yeah. Uncle Vishal will show you. And I think this guy is a motion, I guess. The other guy is a motion something. Yeah. So, and, and, and by the way, Metal engineers, I think this is one of the most critical part I want us all of us to lead uh, in this in this experiment is. Motion detector? So yes, so we'll talk about it. So um, one of the most critical part we want to lead here is that there are a lot of modules working together. I think that's the fascinating part. So we all can so if you have a motor working together with a heater that is a, 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 a dryer, yeah. then you have a motor yeah. working with uh, say uh, fans, it's it's a fan. So that's why, so these modules, and this is the perfect example that how tiny you can take the modules to achieve an objective, which is like a fitness tracker. So okay. No, that's okay, that's okay. So, so now we've showed you all the parts. We'll talk a high level about all the parts. Ishita, please move your hand back, please. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll point it out and then you guys can do it, okay? So in this, we saw, what, first thing we saw that a lot of different parts come together in a modular circuit to do different things. There's, a, there's something that helps you talk to the phone. There's something that is a brain of the circuit. There is something that vi helps it vibrate. There are other things that help it measure the motion of the thing. There is other things that tells the battery when not to charge. There are other things that are light sensors and the button. There are other things that is the tummy where it stores the data. It's the flash memory. So all those things work together to make the fitness charger work, right? What about the brain? Yeah, so so I'll go around and I'll ask everybody what different parts they saw inside. Well, what if you forget? Well, whatever you remember, you just tell, tell us that. Mia, tell us one part that was there in the fitness tracker. Okay. Just you can t just tell it like that. The the brain. There was a brain. And. That's, that's okay. There was a brain. What else? What else was there? Um, there was the oxygen. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. yes. 3D the, accelerometer. And the vibration. Wait, and the, the vibration. Mode. And what do you remember? Um, Mia, yeah, please listen. I, I remember what the the button that turns it on and off. Yes, the button that turns it on and off. Mia, you want to tell another part? There was the the circuit board. Yeah, there was a circuit, circuit board. board. That's good. Any and other part you, we we remember? Any the other antenna? The antenna. antenna. That's very good. And the yes. brain. 
the green, the green, the battery, the battery, the battery, the battery, the battery yes. yes. The wires, the wires. The wires, yes. And there was a tummy. You guys forgot about the tummy where it stores the data, <laughs> right? That's a funny, it's a funny example. But yes, I think it's, it's a beautiful example. And and then there was this carbon frame that actually keeps it go like this. I'm gonna shape. Yeah, keeps it in shape, right? Yeah. I was about to say a carbon frame. Yeah, it's a carbon frame. It's a carbon frame. frame. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a, a carbon steel that they yes. make of. That's what I was about to say. Covid. So good. And there was a battery. We don't forget the battery. We just didn't take out the battery. Yes, very good. So we didn't take out the battery because it's dangerous to dismantle a battery. Right. So you should always leave it. Uh, don't try to dismantle the battery. So Very yes, team. I think Ankurum is making great point. So if you look at the battery, uh, don't puncture it. Uh, no, big no. And that's why whenever we play around with anything that has lithium ion inside, we have to have an adult. So irrespective of even lithium ion, lithium ion, whenever we have a pointy object, an adult uh, should 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 be the lead who is working on these things. And by the way, Ankurum is a professional, so that's why he know what he's doing. So whenever you try this at home, be very, very cautious and always have an adult playing with the tools and you just stay as, uh, uh, besides and watch or, or at least do it with the in, in, in front of an adult under their supervision. Okay guys, I think that, that that's it. It was very exciting. Do you think yeah, it was exciting it to open it up? Yeah. Right? So, um, yes. Until we get up. Yes. So, so uh, let's conclude it first. So now, um, again, so we had a fun session today, so we yeah, learned. Was fun, right? We learned about various modules working together to do create I'll a fitness tracker. We go. all are using fitness tracker, by the way. This is a fitness tracker. This is a fitness tracker. Yeah. We all are wearing our fitness trackers, so it's okay. it's in our lives. Yeah. We are using that, and the fun part is uh, how they all work together. So if you like it, um, leave your comments. If you have any suggestions, yeah. if, if you if you have any queries. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video it's and we do appreciate Bye. your support. Share and subscribe. Share and subscribe the Bye. video, tell your Bye. friends, families uh, and, and let Bye. us know how we can make it better. Bye. Super Be, when we do this at home, we are very really cautious. Be very very cautious and, and, and team, we are also coming up with a way for you to engage directly with us. So stay tuned uh, for that portion uh, and I think it will be, be a lot of fun. Thank you so much once again. And uh, bye bye. Well, guys, uh, what do you think? It's a good video? Yeah. You had fun? Yeah, do you think it was interesting to see what's inside? Yeah, I saw the video. Yeah. 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 Yeah.